Hi guys, this is Abraham from the Integrity Auto. Today I am going to change um, Toyota Aqua hybrid battery. Uh, <clears throat> this is 2000, um, I guess 13 or something. So, but hybrid battery is done. So I need to change this one before to use. So, um, <clears throat> So what we need to hear is the first thing we need to remove this pins. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, this card has no pin, only two left. I don't know why, but um, so I assume you take out those pins and this one is one and this one is two so the next thing we move this remove this covers that is three different parts one is left side one is middle and then the right side. So um, all, need, all, all you need is just uh, pull. Okay. So, but please take care don't break any of this um, things okay let's put this in trunk room and let's take this one too this one too okay so the second part came out and the third is came out Okay, so the next thing we are going to remove this um, seat. The removing the seat is pretty easy, just pull up. God, it's stuck. Oops. It just came out and then went in. Okay. There is two locking point of this um, seat. Oh, by the way, what is this? I never seen this before. Oh, I guess on left side too. Okay. So just pull out the seats. The seat has um two connecting locations. One is here, one is here. And we move with this on the side okay so before the process begin so we need to um, disconnect the, the the car battery battery so what you need to is Just pull the okay. So now we remove the, the positive and Mm. 
normally one side is enough but for I concern so I just take plus and minus at the same time and put them in under the floor carpet so the next thing is oops, sorry I just dropped my phone the disconnect the main uh, hybrid system just pull this lever and then pull now system has no hybrid power and the next one we are going to use um, this seat base or something whatever uh, I don't know so we need to move remove this one this one has one bolt here 11 it says 11 and one is here one is here and last one is here that is four so um so why i remove the battery first because uh we don't want any power in the the the, the, the computer of the and the the car because there is some things if something went wrong maybe get some short or something so we blow everything so that's why I removed that one first and then like 10 or 15 minutes it's gonna completely drain the uh, the entire power from the system so um, let me pause this um, video and then I remove um, no let's do that together so what I need is what I need is 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 nope this is 16 this one is 14 oops it says 11 but it's 14 just fit Okay, this one is one, the next one is here. This one is two, and then third one. Okay, and fourth one. sorry guys this part here is a little bit messy so I one time I removed this hybrid system so it was a long time ago and I forgot um, which number socket do I need so that I brought here all of them <laughs> okay okay Okay, one came out. Just put it here and then don't lose it. And the second came out. Third is here. Uh, maybe I need a power tool for I have but it is too small for this job and the last one Okay, 
the last one just came out and then now we are take uh, taking this skeleton out so here it is and so we are going to disconnect this old cables <clears throat> uh, before do that we need to remove this bolts one two three four and then this one you can open this one with uh, the power connector or something I don't know just you see there is some uh, I don't know what it is. It's can fit it here. And just turn the counterclockwise. Oh by the way, you have to you have to hold this part too because it's turning around. So when it's loosed, oh, not yet. Okay, let's do this again. Put it here. Okay, can you see? Um, it just came up a little bit and then. And pull this one and put it here that's here uh, and this one two three and four so Toyota normally use um, 10 millimeter bolts or for almost every single part it's very unusual using the different size of bolts so um, take this cover put it here so we need to remove this two cable so just push here and pull Okay, so uh, Okay, one came out By the way guys, you have to be so careful because This can is like a razor sharp Damn once I cut myself was horrible okay so the second one came out next one we knew we removed this one and but that one is uh, two side um, so get it here just One came out so you need to push this um, left and right side at the same time or it don't came up so um, like you need a like a flathead screwdriver or something or just removing plastic tool um, to remove that thing
Okay, the second one came out too. Okay, so um, the next next thing is we need to disconnect fun. Sorry guys, using one hand it's so difficult uh, holding camera and and then once you remove here this one and then next this one it's just came out easily okay so we disconnect everything this part now we go the right side right side we need to remove this part uh, okay I'm so lazy so it's easier to uh, I don't want to break this uh, One is okay, another one is down here. Okay guys, um, let me, I put this phone on, on the floor and then let me, I move this damn thing. And then this connector. And this one. Okay, guys. On oh, also one in here. So, um, okay. The main connector is here. And put this one aside so we disconnect everything so our car has no hybrid power or any any power okay so removing this battery pack so we have to remove this one bolt here and also the carpet pin okay Where did my tool go? Okay, I found it. Oh God. Next time I bring the bigger one. See what I mean?
it's not easy. Okay. Ah, finally. That's one. And one, another one is here. I really hate this. It's not easy to keep out. Oh, it's easy, maybe. I am using the wrong tool. Uh, so, I guess I brought the, the correct tool. And yes, it wasn't so hard. Okay, so the removing bolt is this one here one and two, and three, and and the four, four is here. I don't know why, but it seems Toyota like obsessive for number four. They use four everywhere. Okay, let's check which one we can use. Oh, nope, not this one. Ten is too small. Probably I need 12, no, no, 14 is too big, this one is 14 too, okay guys, piece of advice, keep your, oh yeah, I found, it was 12, keep your stuff well organized, otherwise, you can keep searching like me. Okay. Okay. One is done. Another one is done. So this one is too. And the last one. Okay. So, okay guys, let's make this video short. If you remove this one, this bolt, the, those four bolts, Easily you can pick this thing out. Okay. Okay, guys. I just removed this bolt, those bolts, and then, as you can see, just pull. And the battery, um, the hybrid battery pack is completely came out. But you have to um, be careful because it's so heavy, and then it's easy. Uh, to get a, a pain or, or or hurt yourself, okay? So it's I advise you do this with two people something. Oh, by the way, hey, I forgot there is no oh, I guess this car has something happen to the hybrid system because normally there there's a pipe here so there's hot air just came out through here and then um, go out from the uh, the right side of rear fender so this one has no which means this car's hybrid battery probably already changed I'm not sure and there is no dust here 
Yeah, probably changed. Because one is that's already broken. Okay. Okay. So let me I take this thing out and then put new one into here. Okay. See you guys. Uh, by the way, so for putting back, just reverse the uh, the process. Okay. Um, oh, also, and don't forget to put this thing and then lock it like this way. Okay. Otherwise, the hybrid system doesn't work and gives you a lot of error um, on dashboard. Okay, guys, see you on next video. Uh, thanks for watching and bye.